Hey, it's Kay. Hope you're feeling cute today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be talking about sneakers. Finally. I have been holding myself back from buying any more sneakers since I think that was December, the last time I posted any sneaker unboxing video on my channel. Just because it's already August and after more than a year, we're still in quarantine and we can't really go anywhere. So I just held myself back from buying any more pair of shoes. But then one Tuesday afternoon, I was scrolling through Lazada and I saw this. And for today's video, we will be unboxing the Converse Runstar Motion. I've actually unboxed and styled the Converse Runstar High early this year. This pair of shoes have become my beaters. I've worn them so much. I think this has become my go-to pair of shoes. They're so comfy and I really like the style. And I didn't expect this, but they go well with most of my outfits. And I thought that this was the chunkiest that Converse can go. Nope. But I was wrong. Because when they released the design for the Converse Runstar Motion, it was very chunky. So now let's talk about the Converse Runstar Motion. So yeah, I have to be honest, I've already unboxed this and tried it on. But for the sake of unboxing it, let's just unbox it. It has the same box as the Converse Runstar Hike. Got the size 6 for men's and 7.5 for women's. I actually got size 8 for women's in the Converse Runstar Hike and it was quite big on me. That's why I decided to get the size 7.5 for the Converse Runstar Motion and also this was the last size available and the last piece available in Lazada Converse flagship store and I was really lucky to get it. That's why I got it. Okay. So inside the box, we have this beautiful um, pair of shoes. Ta-da! Look at this. Look at that. And it's so chunky. Oh my god. I don't need to think about it. The Runstar Motion's playful and distorted lines are built for future movement. Reimagined from the inside out, the elevated stance and the CX foam midsole help bring next level comfort to every stride. The upper stays true to the original, juxtaposed by future forward designs for bold self expression. An exaggerated wavy platform and sculptural traction, lugs raise you up and keep you steady with standout traction. From all of the ads and description of this pair of shoes, I think the selling point that Converse wants to highlight for the Converse Runstar Motion is the level of comfort. And with that, let's talk about the materials that were used to create this beautiful pair of shoes. So we have a 100% organic canvas upper, we have the rubber heel star and then the premium chuck 70 detailing if you look at the midsole you will see the cx signature right there the cx foam boosts impact absorption which makes this pair of shoes more comfortable than any usual shoes at first look, you would think that this is very heavy, but to my surprise, this is actually lighter than the Converse Runstar Hike. The Converse Runstar Motion is available in three colors. So this one is the cream or egg grit, and then we also have black and white. And the reason why I got this cream color is because it's so unique. It looks really unique, and the logo and detailing here is orange which is really cute. The black and white colorway are already available for the Runstar Hike and those are really common colors so I decided to get something um, unique for this unique design. So now let's talk about the difference of the Converse Runstar Hike and the Converse Runstar Motion. First of all, just by looking at it, they look very different. This looks like the big sister of the Converse Runstar Hike because it's really chunky and then the height for this one is also very different. If this one is more like 
2 inches. This one is 3 inches at least. And then we also have different detailing here for the Converse logo. The Converse Runstar Hike has the detailing for Chuck Taylors. And then the Converse Runstar Motion has the detailing for Chuck 70s. Since the platform is more wavy and chunky, we don't have the eyelets here that are on the Converse Runstar Hike. One big difference of this one is that the tongue has a holder for the laces which makes sure that the tongue will be intact because on usual shoes, the tongue has no holder for the laces and usually it goes to the side or to the other side while wearing it. You also have this detail that says Chuck Taylor. Another main standout for the Converse Runstar Motion is the forefoot. It looks very edgy. And this one looks like the regular Chuck Taylor All Stars design. And then the sole is very different as well. In terms of the weight, this one is actually heavier than this. And I think it's because of the CX foam that makes it kind of lightweight and really comfortable. Whereas this one, it uses the smart foam. In my experience, it's also very comfy. I can wear this outside and again, as I said earlier, it has become my go-to pair of sneakers. So I really like the comfort that this one gives. But I have to say that when I first tried this one, it gave off like a very comfortable vibe and it felt like I was wearing socks when I first tried this one. But the canvas, I think it's not that different. The canvas for this one did not have any details if it was organic or not. But I think this is the regular canvas used for Chuck Taylor's All Stars. And this one is different because it is 100% organic. Overall for me, these are two. Um, very similar but also very different pairs of shoes. They give very different vibes but I love them both so much because they serve different purpose. For me, this has become my favorite pair of shoes when I first got it because it's really comfortable compared to my other pairs of shoes. But I feel like I have to be more careful with this one since it's light color. It's easier to get dirty <laughs> but I hope not. I will probably save this on special occasions like finally getting to go outside again. <laughs> More thoughts about the Converse Runstar Motion. This is a very beautiful color. I, I was very happy to see this when the designs first came out. Yeah, it's a very beautiful color. And it's neutral so it's easy to pair it with your outfits. I will insert some clips and pictures of me trying out this pair of shoes. And I will also try to upload a video on how to style this. If you want to see that, please comment down below. And as of now, I've only seen two K-pop idols wear this pair of shoes. One is Hyuna. She was wearing this color as well, which is very cute. And then another one is Somi. She was wearing the black version. And yeah, I would also love to recreate the how to style the Converse Run Star Hike like a K-pop idol video. If you haven't seen that, please do check it out as well. And I want to recreate that using this pair, so I hope more K-pop idols wear this one. And if you're interested in getting this pair of shoes, the retail price for the Converse Run Star Motion is 120 US dollars. In the Philippines, that's like um, almost 6,000 pesos. But luckily, I got this for only 5,100 pesos or like 102 dollars in Lazada. Converse actually has a flagship store in Lazada and they released this pair of shoes I think just recently and you can also search up sneaker stores on Instagram that sells this pair and I can share some links of the sneaker stores that I know that are legit and very approachable online. I'm actually very happy that Converse decided to release this in the Philippines um, through their online store and other 
physical stores as well because in my experience with the run star hike um, I was only able to get this last year because I ordered from stock X so final thoughts on the converse run star motion is it worth it is it too much it's not too much it's never too much if it's your self-expression it's never too much I'm all for self-expression and this pair of shoes it screams self-expression and also let's not forget to give credit where it's due thank you so much converse runstar hike for paving the way for the converse runstar motion and i guess that's it for today's video please don't forget to hit like subscribe and hit the notification bell and also please don't forget that i appreciate you all so much and also please stay safe bye bye Yes, in our dreams on outside I'll drive, you pick the station Sunrise, no destination, no